Okay, gonna look at the banjo fitting on a brake here. And this, you normally want the notch side facing up like this. If it's down like this, what can happen is when you put new washers on here, it can be that part of it contacts this, and this is bent up, and you're not going to get a good seal. Now, some of the calipers, there's a recess in here, and it's more robust for that air, but this is a factory one I just took off, and it does have a little bit of a relief here, but you can't really rely on that, so the proper way is you put new copper washers on, you never reuse these, and you have the notch side facing up. So you take the banjo bolt, which has got a hole in it. This has got a hole here, see, for the fluid to come through. Take the notch side facing up. Put through there with a new copper washer. Put this on. On this Chevy, the torque is uh, 32 foot-pounds. And then down in here it's not touching anything so it's got a complete seal it's completely evenly tightening this up now when you've gone through and tightened up one of these you get these marks on it like this now if we reuse one maybe that you flip it over it doesn't really line up it's not going to tend to seal as well so it's better to use a new copper washer on there and on this particular one I can go through and grab this like this and then when I torque it up I've got holding this so it's not going to be cocked back and forth. So I'm going to torque this up to 32 foot-pounds on this for a Camaro. And that's the banjo bolt. It's called a banjo connection. Okay, sorry about that. I got the did torque it up to about 32. Around 30 to 32 it was just uh, probably yielding the um, copper. So those are compressed to fit in the grooves. There's the banjo fitting. Got it up to 32. That was a 7 16 inch. And I don't know if that maybe 11 millimeter too. But it seems like the 7 16 inch socket fit a little bit better. This is an unaided 82 Camaro. So the whole banjo fitting is completely isolated, not touching anything from the caliper there. I was just putting this on. This is a brand new hose, rebuilt, rebuilt caliper. So that should have a good seal it's not touching anything. Again here the redeeming feature is that you want to have the notch facing up. If it's down like this, there's a chance this is going to touch here. That's going to be cocked and not seal. So you want to have this up. So the center line of this tube is outward of the body. That's why this is offset like that. Okay, they got the wrench here to back up the connection here. And what I'm doing is crushing the copper. on there.